I consider the reform bill a final and irrevocable settlement of a great constitutional question. A settlement which no friend to the peace and welfare of this country would attempt to disturb, either by direct or by insidious means. Then, as to the spirit of the reform bill and the willingness to adopt and enforce it as a rule of government, if by adopting the spirit of the reform bill it be meant that we are to live in a perpetual vortex of agitation, that public men can only support themselves in public estimation by adopting every popular impression of the day, by promising instant redress of anything which anybody may call an abuse, by abandoning altogether that great aid of government, the respect for ancient rights, and deference to authority. If this be the spirit of the Reform Bill, I will not undertake to adopt it. But if the spirit of the Reform Bill implies a careful review of the institutions, civil and ecclesiastical, undertaken in a friendly temper, combining with the firm maintenance of established rights, the correction of proved abuses, and the redress of real grievances, in that case, I can for myself and colleagues undertake to act in such a spirit and with such intentions.